at the HBCU level. You know, I think of Ken Riley and, and you know some of the other great players, players who've gone on to have great success in that realm. And you talk about this renaissance, all this attention being played to HBCU football, but a lot of it is at the CFS level. You mentioned the Division II level. What about maybe enhancing that part of the pie because the HBCU legacy in terms of academics and football is huge? Yes, it is. And uh, one of the things, you know, that will we'll, we'll be exhibited will be not only just the, the experience in itself, but the need for resources. And I'm just being honest here, when we talk about resources, the monetary resources that a lot of the small school HBCU uh, programs in particular don't receive. So hopefully folks can see that you can go here and you can have a great education, a great time, and uh, be productive. But then you find and you reach out to alumni, local businesses, and, and national businesses that could possibly find ways of giving back, helping us continue to grow so we'll be around another hundred years.